what's up people welcome back to my youtube channel A crazy traffic as always scale the law in antwerp god damn it all of them bikers are really crazy you know that let's see if i can force something out here huh Thank you. Je groot, hè? Ja. <laughs> Wat fucker? Blinking doesn't is not necessary, hè? Huh? Big ass motherfucker. Ik ben hoofd niet of waar? <laughs> That's why I like motorcycle bitches.
Wow! Jesus fuck, I ain't never seen this here. Traffic like a motherfucker! Pum pum pum. Wop 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 wop. Hey! <laughs> Lane splitting, people, things to watch for, especially when it's raining. You see them right stripes here? Try to avoid them, yes? And these are pretty okay because they have ribbles in them. But usually they are all smoothened up, like a thick plaque of paint. You should really avoid those. Other than that, don't let your ass be caged. Uh, so I don't know if you all know the rules about lane splitting but the limit is 50 kilometers an hour you know so try to respect that is my message I'm not saying I always respect that but if they catch you driving faster than 50 I believe it's uh, 150 or 160 euro fine because it's being seen as speeding. This place always smells like coffee. I don't know why, but I like it. Oh, I just love the smell of coffee. Oh, smell it. It's like, I don't know, man, but I really like it. So yeah, about the lane splitting, as you can see, we're doing 70, 75 kilometers an hour, that is. What you always have to keep in mind as well when riding a motorcycle in the rain is your braking distance is like not double or but triple, you know? Because we only have two wheels. I know we have good brakes and everything. This bike has really good brakes, but still my braking distance is a lot longer than than one of these cars, you know, even a fucking golf. Braking distance is like half of mine. So if you're driving fast enough and it's raining keep your distance man really do because an accident happens really fast especially when you have to do an emergency brake you won't make it if you only are like three feet away from the car same as with as I told you earlier with the with the white lines on the on the road on the, on the markings when you're at a at a red light there is one marking that like crosses you and driving over that mark with your rear wheel and having a bike with the power like this one will make you skid especially if you don't have traction control like I do it will make your ass skid like a motherfucker I mean the bike the ass of your bike of course but uh, see these lines are filled they don't have any ribbles in them anymore like the ones we saw earlier though these lines I always try to stay away from and if you don't if you can't stay away from them just drive over them straight like 
dead straight. And a little maneuver like this will make your bike skid, will your front wheel will lose traction, your rear wheel will lose traction if you have too much on the throttle, and you go bye bye. If it's on low speeds, it's usually fine, but with the high speeds, you can hurt yourself a lot. Especially when lane spitting and high speeds in this weather, and you fall, you're gonna take at least three or four cars with you. And hitting the pavement is okay when you're a rider, but hitting three or three or four cars, that's, that's, that's a painful business, man. So, yeah. Like this. See, that's straight. I'm not even steering. And that's what I do when driving over these lines, markings. What also helps, of course, is coming with the car. But then again, you are stuck in traffic 9 out of 10 times. And then you'll be all irritated by your fellow car drivers being an idiot blocking roads uncontrolled braking, all that stuff what I want to say is uh, you have pros and cons of course if, if it comes to riding, riding your bike in the winter and in the summer like always or, or choosing to ride your car in the winter nice and warm It's all about opinion. I did say in my last video that people that drive cars are bitches, especially when they are in the winter, but that's a bit overstated. You know, if you guys shouldn't take it personal, me calling you guys bitches because you drive a car and, and not a motorcycle like I do every day. But it's just a way for me to point out that even if it's raining, even if it's cold, I won't stay home. Ooh, that was close. So, it's not because you drive a car you're a bitch. It just it might just be you don't want to drive a motorcycle. You don't want to take the risk because Riding a motorcycle is a risk. Also one of the things I stated in my earlier videos. We risk our lives every day. Voluntarily. Just for the sake of freedom. So, that was it for today. Some some information about lane splitting I hope it's information you all can use I don't have much to say about this lane splitting stuff but if you do it do it carefully try and respect the rules maximum of 50 kilometers an hour and if the cars are driving 20 you can drive 50 if the cars are standing still, you can only do 30. I think that's the proper proper way to, to describe the rules. Nonetheless, it's all dangerous. Yeah. This is nice. Thank you very much. Big ass Mercedes. Aegon, you see that? That was his license plate, so it's probably a Turk. So as I was saying, I hope you all like my video. Feel free to comment down below, click like or dislike. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, of course. And uh, to all you people out there, car drivers, motorcycle riders, drive safe and peace out. <laughs>